Lucy Borkowski and Kaya Beaker guide Harlan to a team title here today. Uh, ladies, uh, a solid performance from you guys and, and your team as well. How's it feel? Feels pretty good, yeah. I'd say. Um, this week was a little different than last week, I guess, because we're on the same course and we did hard workouts this week, so it's a little difficult, I guess, for us coming back. You mentioned running the same course as last week. Was there anything from last week that you guys were able to take away that maybe benefited you this week? Yeah, I would say definitely. We um, tried to work this week a lot on the hills and just getting up them fast and quick. So I'd say that was really good. Second and fourth for you guys today. Lucy, you take second. Kaya, you take fourth. What's it like competing against each other up there towards the front? Um, I guess it's something different. We help each other, push each other on the weaknesses, try to battle through our strengths, and just keep giving each other encouragement as we go throughout each and every day. And I'm just so grateful that I get around with my friends every day. Another team victory for you guys. Uh, they're beginning to pile up this season. Uh, what's this team been like here early on? I'd say we all love each other like we wrote on our hands last um, week. And just we keep God with us all the time, and that just keeps us close. What's this team capable of going forward? I don't know. I think the it's kind of limitless what we can do and what God can do for us this season. And I think that's just what we keep in perspective each and every day as we go out and give it all we've got and do it all for Him. We're definitely excited for the rest of the season. Another Council Buffs Thomas Jefferson 1 2 finish today. We Watch Elo wins it here in Council Buffs. Aiden Booten finishes second. We Watch a couple weeks ago. Aiden won. You got second. You guys flip it today. It's got to be fun running with each other like that, isn't it? Yeah, uh, our coach, Coach Miller, he talks about, you know, going back every once in a while, trying to, we're always competing against each other, so that's a good thing. Aiden, just uh, what are your thoughts on something like that? Same thing as he said, it's fun to compete. I mean, like, having just a little bit of competition with each other, but, you know, obviously mainly mainly competing against everybody else, but having that little competition pushes each other, pushes each other further in the race, helps it, helps helps us work as a team. Take us through the day, guys. I'm sure this is a course that maybe you're kind of familiar with. Do you think maybe that helped you a little bit? Uh, yeah, uh, it's definitely, it definitely helped. Uh, we've been out here before. Uh, luckily, we come out here on Saturdays too, uh, every once in a while, just to get, get used to the course and get familiar with it. What are some of the challenges of this course you guys kind of had to overcome today? Um, I mean, you always got the hills and stuff and focusing on the flats because there's a pretty big flat area. Some people, like Coach says, you know, loses their concentration and kind of falls back a little bit. You got to stay focused. You got to keep working. You know, you see I mean, the wind a little bit, but you got to keep your eye on the prize for it. This is a question, uh, I guess, for both of you guys, but as we kind of get in the middle part of the season, do both you guys feel like you guys and your team are, are running and putting up the results that you expect to put up? Uh, well, I, I think we're doing a, a great right now, uh, but not satisfied. You know, we can keep going. There's never we can never like flat out. Um, got more to work on uh, and pack up together. That'd be a good thing to work on. Always to keep pushing further and further each time. Did you take the picture? Yep. All right. Tri-Center's Peyton Pogge, another dominant performance here. Uh, Peyton uh, pretty much sums it up, another dominant performance. Uh, how's it feel? It uh, feels great. Take us through your day. Um, what do you feel like you really attacked well on this course? Uh, definitely those hills. I really like tried to go push up harder and faster on those. What was the most challenging part about this course for you? Probably the start, because like you had to like turn right away, and we weren't in like that best of box. So far, you've yet to lose a meet this season. Is this maybe kind of a, shine, a sign that all the work you've put in the off season and stuff is yeah. paying off? Yeah, I really hope so. Is this maybe a goal of yours this season to, to stay undefeated? Yes, for sure. As we get forward, is there anything else you, you feel like maybe you need to get better at as the season goes on and we get into meets such as the conference meet and then the postseason? Yes, yeah, definitely my finish. I could work harder on that.